Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to disable or force Google Chrome incognito mode as well as Microsoft Edge in private mode. With They're both very similar. Let's back up your registry first. If you're not sure, follow the link up here to this tutorial. You can follow along. The video will be embedded here. And you can follow along the video and links to back up your registry. Let's open the registry editor. Windows key plus R. R-E-G-E-D-I-T. We're probably going to have to create keys here. So I have the code here, the line you want to go to. I'm going to stop at policies because you probably don't have the Google Chrome. So let's do this. Copy and paste that. Control V. Press Enter. And as you can see under policies, I do not have Google Chrome. So that makes it really easy to do. You're going to have to close and restart your browser or close it in the background when you're done. Obviously, if you're following along at home with me, you kind of got to have your browser open right now. All right, so we're going to right click on policies. We're going to do a new key and we're going to call that key Google. And we're going to type it correctly. Now we're going to click on Google and we're going to add another key. Once again, new key. And we're going to name that, what was it again? Chrome. Duh. C H R O M E. Next one, you're going to need to know. Incognito mode availability. One word, capital I, capital M, capital A. Right click on the right side with Chrome that you just created, highlighted. New D Word 32 bit value. Control V or type in that incognito mode availability. And that's it. Now we just need to decide what we want to do. You could change that to one and that will disable it. That that being the value data. Change it to two, is it? Forces all the pages open. Change it back to zero, and it'll work just like it always did. Or you can actually come back up, because remember you created Google Chrome. You can delete, you could delete this key, this, or this, whatever you want. If it was me, if you had to create Google Chrome, I'd delete Google. But again, if it was me, I'd probably just change this to zero, because there's no harm, no foul. Let's do Edge real quick, it's one step less. Very similar. We're going to the same key. And we're just going to create a new key under Microsoft called Edge. So now we're jumping up to here to Microsoft, doing the new key, Edge. Similarly, I always have a hard time with that word. I had to get ready for that. In private mode availability. Once again, that's going to be over here. Right click new. D word 32 bit value. Control V or type in in private mode availability. Again, it's capital I, capital P, capital M, capital A. Press enter. And just like before, value data zero will be your default. Means it's not doing anything. Value data one will disable in private. And value data two will always force incompatibility mode. So we're going to leave the one because that's the main reason for this stuff. And we're going to close Google Chrome and open it back up. They both look a little bit different. So now over here, new tab, new window. Let's see if I can get back to my article here just to show you the difference real quick. What it looked like before was that. As you can see, it's gone. So nobody can access it. Press Control Shift N, which is another way to open it. And I'm clicking, 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 nothing. Let's take a look at Edge. It's a little bit different. What that does is it's there, but it's grayed out. See that? And once again, Control Shift N. There you go. So change that setting to whatever you want it to be on. Hide it, don't hide it, open everything in incognito mode, in private mode, whatever you want to do. Piece of, oh, it's not that easy. It takes a couple extra steps, so it's not the first thing you want to do in a registry, but it's not hard as long as you back up that registry. So there you have it. Just look for the link up here if you need to follow along at home. Uh, what else? I guess that's everything. Bottom right corner, you know, you can't forget that. Click subscribe. You know the drill. Thanks for watching as always. See you.